me to go easy. The replication is still in progress. Odd. It's just like when I saw Mary's replica. I know it's a replica, but the feelings just come rushing out. That's a natural human emotion. Guy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I know my homeland lives on only in my memories now.
This is mine. It shouldn't be surprising. So this really is hard. Would you rather not fight, Master Van? It's not that. I never thought I'd be able to come back. It's a strange feeling. Yes. This is the first time I've ever been to my homeland. I can't bring myself to hate Fomacree. I think it could actually do some wonderful things. That applies to everything. Any tool can be used for wonderful or foolish things. Even the score. Luke, yeah, I think so too. I think maybe Yulia didn't mean for the world to follow the score exactly. But Yulia hid the seventh phone stone, which has the score of destruction written on it. People can't stay calm when faced with a score foretelling their death. Yulia wanted us to overturn the score? That's it, the seventh phonic hymn. What? I just remembered the first time I ever learned phonic hymns from Van. He said Yulia wished for people to overturn the score. Yulia loved the world. The phonic hymns are the pact that Yulia offered to Lorelei out of that love. Van was trying to fulfill Yulia's will by rebuilding the world. But Lorelei doesn't approve of Van's intent. That's why it's remained dormant within him. I see. If the phonic hymns are the symbol of the trust between Lorelei and Yulia, then the melody of the phonic hymns may awaken Lorelei. Van was controlling Lorelei by force, but if Lorelei were to awaken, even Van would need to concentrate on Lorelei to prevent neural contamination. Leaving him vulnerable. He might also lose the ability to use Lorelei's power. Tear! You have to sing! Yeah, Tear. If the phonic hymns awaken Lorelei, we can use the key to free it. But I wonder if I can. I just now remembered the seventh one. I'm not sure if I have the melody, feeling, and lyrics correct. You've remembered all the other ones correctly so far. Don't worry. I know you can sing it. And it's not like we have time to stop and worry about it. I'll give it a try.
Can you hear me, Replica? It looks like I had a little trouble. The rest is up to you. Ashes. Ash is dead. No! It can't be! Luke! Say it's not true! <laughs> Look out! It's a trap! Natalia, we have to run! I... Natalia! Ugh. We won't make it! Damn it! Not like this! Ash, help me! What happened? Hyperresonance, no. Second order hyperresonance? Impossible. What was that power? I... I don't know. But the moment I thought about Ash, something in me just... It was like when I destroyed Axarioth. But I think I can actually control it. A second order hyper-resonance? You've got to be joking! Sink! Even with Yulia's divine protection, power like that could harm Van. You have two choices. Hand over the key and join Van, or die. I choose neither. I'm freeing Lorelei. And to do that, I will defeat Master Van. And you. Sink, you're a replica, just like Ion. Why are you helping a project like this? I'm not like him. You know that. Ion. The seventh Ion was a naive child. He believed the score was merely one possible choice for the future. But in the end, he couldn't oppose the score. Phone Master Ion will die. That was the planet's memory. Your Ion died like a dog. Take that back! Now! No! It's the truth! But Van's plan will destroy Lorelei itself, and with it, the seventh Phonon. The score will truly vanish. Do you really hate the score that much? I was born because the score dictated that Phone Master Ion would die. You already know that I was thrown away once. That's why you hate the score? Because you were thrown away? Because I was born. I'm not even a substitute like you. I was born a piece of meat. If the score hadn't existed, I wouldn't have been stuck with this pathetic life. Are you saying you've gained nothing since you were born? Not a thing. I'm empty. 
But it doesn't matter. I didn't care who it was, as long as they would erase the score. The seventh phonon. I may be inferior, but my power of the seventh phonon is that of the phone master. You would know if I unleashed my full power. Let's test it. You or the empty me? Let's see which side this world wants to survive. So, how is it fighting someone who looks just like I am? Turbulence! Shut up! You are nothing compared to him! You must look the same, but you are not I am! You didn't want to admire as the phone master's replacement, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! Are you trying to tell me that I am who I am? I told you I am! You should be a little more honest with yourself before you die. You will not change me. I stand resolved. I'm tired of this world. Everyone who die along with it. Mystic Cage. <laughs> now know what true power is. Destroy Lorelei. They're all laying down their lives for Master Van's vision. Don't let them get to you. We're doing the same for ours, right? Yeah. Ash, too. Ash really is dead, isn't he? Natalia, I'm sorry. If I'd stayed with him. <gasps> Ow! What was that for? Your actions have been a nuisance to us all, and to Ash. To Ash? Ash fought so Luke could kill Van, even if that wasn't his original intention. What you did interfered with that. I'm sorry. You're free to care about Ash. But you must not forget what you came to do. Yes, you're right. I'm truly sorry. I'm not the only one who's suffering. 
Annis and Guy both lost people dear to them. And Tyr must... Exactly. Jade, you called that a second-order hyperresonance, right? Yes, but the theory behind second-order hyperresonance hasn't yet been established. It's said that when two hyperresonances interact, they neutralize the effects of all phonons. I don't know what this power is, but if it is second-order hyperresonance, then it was Ash who gave it to me, right? He and I are the only ones who can cause a hyper-resonance. Yes. Ash is inside you. Ash accepted you and gave you his power. Yeah. I've got to put up a fight worthy of him. Guys, lend me your strength.
Shall we be on our way?
What's this? It's beautiful. It appears to be someone's grave. Whose? Yulia's. Ben brought me here once when I was a kid. He told me the Fende family had secretly protected Yulia's grave for generations. Then Yulia passed away in Hod? I never knew. That's... But who's been taking care of all this? These flowers and everything? Yes. It certainly has been maintained well. It's Van. But he hates the score, doesn't he? Wouldn't he hate Yulia too? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Van taught me Yulia's phonic hymns. He said we were to lead the world as Yulia's descendants. I doubt he would have done that if he hated Yulia. More than the score itself, Van may hate the masses that blindly follow it. Perhaps. I don't know what Master Van thinks of Yulia, but he and Tyr are both her descendants, right? That's more than enough reason to offer her flowers. Van. There's phone on interference going on. So this is one of the planetary art catalysts too? It's at Yulia's grave. Might it have some relation to her? Yulia was a scorer after all. This may be the staff she used. I hate to disturb her rest, but let's take it with us. Tears her descendant, right? I'm sure she'll understand. Yulia, please forgive us. That makes all the catalysts. That map, it was of Mount Roniel, right? I am worried that we still lack information on the planetary art, but perhaps we should go. I'm so excited. I wonder what kind of art it is. What's the matter? I don't know. I just suddenly got worried. Don't worry. If worst comes to worst, I'll protect you. What? Uh... I... I didn't mean it like that. Well, fine. I didn't take it like that. Van and put an end to everything. You make it sound so simple. It is. They believe that the planet's memory sets the future in stone, so they seek to erase it. We believe that the planet's memory is but one of infinite choices, that the future can be changed. I'm not particularly fond of this word, but our faith is simply different. We've reached a point where the matter cannot be resolved with words. Yes. Van has Lorelei inside himself. If Lorelei perishes, the world will attempt to recover Seventh Phonons, destroying their balance. Luke, we've come here to stop that. It's not like the last time. We understand what Van is trying to do, and we cannot accept it. Yeah, it's irresponsible to just erase everything and start all over again. If we were going to follow the score and die, it would be people's responsibility to accept that. 
but we realized along the way that we could work together to avoid that. So we're going to live our lives. We're going to walk our own path. We're going to shove the Commandant's ideas up his ass. <laughs> Luke, I kept thinking about you and Ash. I wish that Ash would come back to Kimlaska and support Father, together with you. But I was wrong. You and Ash each had your own path. I'd been trying to tie both of you down with a promise that was no longer valid. Ash is inside you now. In the past, I might have mixed you and Ash together in my mind. But you're you. So please, live the way you want to live. I'll do everything in my power to support you so you can do that, as your childhood friend. You've barely begun to be you, and you bear the weight of countless lives. You have to live enough to make up for the lives you've consumed. Yeah, just seven years, and I'm covered in blood. What I'm saying is cruel. Live and live and keep living. The whole time carrying the weight of that malice, hatred, grief, and anger. But I won't let you carry it alone. I'm the same as you. Even if the whole world rejected you, I'd still be here by your side. I'm not like the six god generals. I'm going to help you by staying alive. Luke, let's go. So we can rewrite Vance's future with our own. Yeah.